What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. You know, we've never reviewed a boarding school yet. In all the reviews that I've done, we've never reviewed one from the state of Rhode Island. Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day. We will be reviewing the St. George's School, located in Newport, Rhode Island. Let's fucking go! Okay, guys, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to another episode. I believe this will be episode 31. Wow, unbelievable. I mean, I, I think this, I think that we're at like our one year anniversary since we started this channel. And I mean, like, who would have thought? Wow, 31 episodes, unbelievable. But hey, you're here, and uh, let's get right into it. Um, Oh, let me apologize very quickly. I took about three weeks off. Look, it's summertime, baby. It's fucking hot boy summer. <laughs> COVID, see you later. It doesn't exist anymore for all intents and purposes. Uh, people are out. They're having fun. They're having barbecues. They're seeing sporting matches. They're... You know, I mean, it's wild out there right now. And listen, I'm sure that all of you guys are just, you know, you're traveling, you're 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 visiting family you haven't seen in a while. You're uh, whatever you do. I'm sure you're enjoying yourselves. Yeah, look, you know, about two more months, and uh, a lot of you guys are going to be going to boarding school for the your first semesters. I mean, wow. Pretty exciting. I remember the summer before I went to boarding school and I was super excited. I mean, to be honest with you, I just couldn't fucking wait to leave public school. I mean, I, I just, I was like, oh God, this is so bad. But yeah, super exciting time for you guys. Um, you're going to go out, you're going to be buying new sheets, you're going to be buying some new clothes, you might be going to Home Goods or wherever it is you guys go to buy some things for your room and whatever. Anyway, let's get back to it. St. George's School, located in Newport, Rhode Island. Let me just tell you guys this. You know, before I do episodes, I do a little bit of light research. Just a little bit. Let me tell you something about St. George's. Not only is their reputation through the roof, but their campus, it might be, like I don't know. I mean, it might just be like the greatest campus I've ever seen. I mean, it's literally on the coast. Yeah, it's on the coast. I mean, you look out over the campus and like there's a beach, there's rolling waves. I mean, who could ask for anything more? Amazing. I can't wait for this review to be honest with you. Okay, let me give you some quick stats about the St. George's School located in Newport, Rhode Island. Okay, it is a boarding school, grades 9 through 12. Approximately 375 students attend St. George's. Uh, the yearly tuition is 65000 The acceptance rate is 24%. Okay, I mean, that's along the lines of, I guess, what I would expect. Three quarters of you guys can fucking hit the road because you ain't getting in. Uh, let's see, average class size, 10 students. Okay, St. George's School is uh, ranks in the top 20 of all the boarding schools in the country for high percent faculty with advanced degrees, Highest endowment per student, low acceptance rates. Okay, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. It's co-ed. Uh, they have an Episcopalian religious affiliation. Okay, I went to an Episcopalian uh, boarding school. You know what's interesting about Episcopalian boarding schools is that when you go to their chapel services, like I think you get communion, if my memory serves me correctly, but they also give you wine. You, you can literally drink. I remember in ninth grade, Going up into chapel service, kneeling down in the front, and then they give you wine. I thought it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, Episcopalians. I mean, they're just like partying at chapel. It was founded in 1896. The campus size is 125 acres. 21% uh, students of color, 14% international students, and 87% of the students board, which means that 13% are day students. I believe day students pay around 45 grand a year. The average SAT score, 1250. Interesting. I would have thought it would have been at least in the high 1300s. Huh, interesting. We, we, we might have to revisit that. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. The average ACT score is 28, and they do not offer a post-grad year. The classroom dress is formal. 8 to 1 student to teacher ratio, 22 advanced courses offered, 85% of the faculty have advanced degrees. The endowment size is $145 million. 30% of the students are on financial aid, which means if you've taken advanced calculus, that 70% of the students come from full paying families. There you have it. Uh, notable alumni. There is a plethora. One guy jumps out to me straight out of the gate. Tucker, Tucker Carlson graduated from St. George's. And not only did Tucker Carlson graduate from St. George's, he was smashing the head master's daughter. Yes, that's right. You dirty, dirty boy. Yeah. Uh, Tucker, why can't I pronounce his name tonight properly? Tucker Carlson's wife was the headmaster's daughter. Hmm. Interesting. Man. Man, you are just like playing with fire there. I, I don't remember who dated the headmaster's daughter at my boarding school, but I absolutely unequivocally remember that her, she was on lockdown. Period. End of story. I don't even think she got to date anybody. Um, anyway, okay, let's jump right into it. St. George's School. Wow. Welcome to St. George's School in Newport, Rhode Island. This is where the twirl began. So this is a great place to hang out with friends on campus, take in some of the blanket, listen to music, throw a frisbee, anything you want. And it's located between one of our largest girls' on campus, and then we have something, this is called the complex, so it's three boarders all connected in one building. Is she wearing a members-only jacket? I think she is. Makes it easy to hang out. Uh, spring dance weekend is a great tradition. She's not. Here. It happens here on the quad. Everyone just brings their couches out for the day and listens to live music. And it's a really good time. If you go to St. George's, I'm sure that that sweatshirt that that dude is wearing is pretty cool. In this video, it's not. It kind of looks like a douchebag in it. This is in St. George's Library. It's a great space to work independently or within groups on projects. You will also occasionally have class in here. It's just a nice space for all the students to interact. Okay, she's tripped up her words at least three times. If I was the guy producing this video for St. George's, sorry, cut. Back to one. Do it over. You can always check out movies or books. This is the Davenport room, often used for meetings, discussions, presentations, class, or just a space for a lot of students to study. On the bottom floor of the library, we have the American Horton Centers for Teaching and Learning, where you're able to meet with a teacher about organizations, study skills, and a specific subject, as well as peer tutoring takes place down here. This is an example of a study room. Check it out. This is an example of a study room. Check it out, dude. You can reserve them with your friends to study. Oh, that was really, like, oh, God. I'm rewinding. That was just super corny. Friends to study. <laughs> this is our St. George's Chapel. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we hold mandatory chapel services for the entire St. George's community. Tuesdays Thursdays and Thursdays. Chapel walk. On the first Thursday of every month, nice chapel. we have a communion service. Although we are an Episcopalian... Look at that. Look at that campus. Look at that. Sorry. I, I don't know how you get a better campus than that. I mean, look at that. That's a 10.0. That, that is unequivocally a 10.0 campus right there. Let's keep going. All religious and faith backgrounds are welcome. 
On Thursdays, we also have a choir group that performs. Every Tuesday, we have a senior give a chapel talk, which is a really great opportunity here at St. George's. I like to come here on Tuesdays and listen to one of my classmates tell about their time at St. George's or a unique story that's happened to them. In, so in December, we also have the Christmas festival here in the chapel, and all students are welcome to participate by being shepherds, and we have a real live baby as baby Jesus. Why is she laughing? She's like, real, real, my favorite baby Jesus. You know, the surfing experience here at St. George's is one of a kind. <laughs> yeah, because it's the Atlantic Ocean, and there's no waves. There's no other school where you can come out in the morning or in the afternoon, okay. whether it's after sports they're, classes or after class. They're one-foot swells. And just go and paddle out and ride some waves. It's truly just an amazing time. St. George's offers... I can't even lie. That would be so amazing, though. Just to paddle out, like on the weekend or after school. I mean, dude, sign me up. A unique opportunity to follow a passion, follow something they, they love. Uh, we love surfing. Surfing's our passion. And it's really allowed us to uh, expand upon that. Freshman and sophomore year, I worked around my schedule, my busy schedule, and uh, found time to surf, whether it's in the morning or after my afternoon. That's activity. so awesome. But uh, through, my, through work with uh, faculty and students at the school, uh, we created the Surf and Leadership Program at St. George's, where it's allowed us to go surfing. That dude um, actually is surfing right there. Look at that. And we're so that is a one-foot swell, and he's surfing. Right at, right at our doorstep that we can uh, be a part of every day. Amazing. Tucker Carlson probably brought the headmaster's daughter down to the beach, and like that was probably their makeout spot, right? I mean, it had to be. The Rodimo is St. George's 70-foot sailboat. It is St. George's most unique program. That's in awesome. Toronto, there are eight students and three professional crew members. We live together, ranging from one week to six weeks to learn how to sail and how to live on the sea. There are fall voyage, winter voyage, spring break voyage, spring voyage, and summer voyage. So each of these voyage can go to different places, for example, Bahamas, Caribbean, Hey, look at that. It looks like the Amalfi Coast. That's unbelievable. Europe it is a very hands-on experience in which students can study and sail at the same time. And you can't get it anywhere else. Good point. So this is our academic building. This is where most of our math and science class. That guy's name, if it's not Chad, that dude's name is Todd or Steve. I will bet, I will bet my house on it. Um, we also have the academic building atrium, which is where we are now, where students can come and do their homework during the day or during the study hall. Also, in the safe room is where we have what we call brown bag lunches. This is where we have professionals in our field come and talk to students and teach them about their research. All right, so now I'm going to take you into one of our physics slides. Okay, let's check it out. Pretty standard. So this is where our physics classes meet. We have an area in the front with a whiteboard for teaching, and then we have an entire area. This music is like, I mean, what's going on here? Is this like a, it's like a Hollywood movie or something. Back for experiments and both, you know, and even bowling balls hanging from the ceiling. Okay, and this is where we grow our weed. This is our plant room. In this room, we have plants for our biology classes to study and work with. But this is also a place where students can come and study in between the classes. <laughs> Welcome to Ox. So this is an upper form double. Um, the great thing about living in a dorm at St. George's is that you have four or five prefects who are designated to live in your dorm to take care of you, make sure you're always okay. They're great role models. Then you also have four or five dorm parents. Okay. This is a very interesting setup. Uh, I can't think of any other boarding school that has their dorm set up like this, where you have your own room, but it's connected to like other people's rooms. This is very strange. I like it, but it's strange. Parents in the dorm, they're always baking sacks. They celebrate birthdays. Making sex? What, what did she just say? Baking sacks? Making sex? Hold on. Rewind. Here we go. My parents who started this like 
parents in the dorm that are always baking snacks. They celebrate birthday. Baking snacks. Where's my mind at? I don't know. Yeah, calling them. They're really the people you can go to if you're upset. Um, and the great thing about living in a dorm here is that you know that they're leaving and that there's so many people who are not. Cool dining hall. Uh, this is the hall. This is where we gather from morning, day, and night for meals. This is also where we have our community lunch on Thursday, where we sit with different age groups and talk about our life here and get to know one of each other. So, as you see, it's always busy, filled with different people. It's cool. <laughs> throughout the community. And I love it. Food's great. They have everything here, including gluten free, vegan, everything that you want, diet wise. Hello, I went to the school. It's like, hey, you go. So, this is basically like a little hangout spot, or let's say you didn't get like breakfast or lunch. This is basically, let's go to the next. This is basically where you can like uh, <laughs> get your lunch or your breakfast. In case you get what up, it. homie? It's a nice little hangout spot. So, and as you can see, people are already hanging out right here. So, that's the girl right there for you. The squash court. Squash is one of our winter sports. It's cool. Our sports team here compete in the independent school league, the ISL. On this side is the St. George's Athletic Hall of Fame, featuring alumni and faculty and other people associated with our athletic program that have contributed a lot in the past years. This is the swimming pool. I am a part of the swim. I thought I saw Bruce Jenner on the wall. Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce, whatever, whoever, Jenner. I thought that was like, go back, rewind, and look at the bottom left hand corner, and it looks like. Bruce Jenner was on the wall. And the swim team is one of the most hardworking and tight knit teams on campus. We're very competitive in our league. This is the downstairs gym. A lot of sports teams and athletes come in here for strength eh, and conditioning. Seem better. Teams can also come in here to work out. This is the upstairs gym. It contains more machinery and equipment for cardio exercises. It is open to the community. It's pretty basic. Hey, welcome to Arson. To my left is the Madeira Hall, and it fits our whole school, the theater. And to my right, the public gallery where artist exhibition is going on. Nice. Right there are classrooms and there are visual foundation classes and drawing classes going on. And then there are also theater foundations and theater classes and upstairs. Not for anything, but so far, this is a very good small little tour of this school. Concise, to the point. Pop, 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 pop. Kind of like it. Music rooms, practice rooms, band rooms, and everything else. Hi, welcome to Madeira Hall. We meet in here twice a week on Mondays and Fridays for student assemblies. Nice. We announcements, club games, a lot of other fun stuff. In addition to assembly, we also meet here for all of our musical performances, theater, drama shows, dance runs, and even our lip sync battle. The music department allows students to explore their passions. That's Whether cool. Whether it is in the acapella groups. Like when I was like 18 years old and just about to graduate boarding school. I just wanted to be a rock star. I mean, honestly, that's all I really wanted to be. I just thought, man, like, I just want to fucking rock, dude. I guess every kid wants to be that. I don't know. Or the snap drive. Students can also choose to be part of the orchestra or jazz bands on campus. But what's most fun is to form your own band. Totally. And rock out with your friends. Yeah, dude. As a matter of fact, I started learning how to play guitar, I believe, when I was about 17 or 18 years old. And one dude that I graduated with, you know, I was like, dude, how do I play this song, man? Like, show me the chords. You would show me the chords and bop, 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 bop. Anyway, this dude actually became like, like a rock star. Like, he, he, was a, he was a fucking rock star, dude. Like, he tours. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the band Me Without You. Whatever, dude. He's the guitarist. He's fucking rocking out with his cock out. It can happen. We hope that you enjoyed the same George of the Virtual Tour. Kind of did. Until next time. Look at that camp. Man. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Just keeps going. Tony Wang. It's amazing. Okay, guys, there you have it. Short, concise, to the point, about nine minute long video. We love that. I don't like to have to go through four or five different, uh, you know, uh, videos from the school. I don't like to do that. Give it to me. Just boom, 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 boom. And we got it. 
this is tough because I usually do a couple of videos, but this is just like kind of all encapsulated really nice. I kind of like that. Now, guys, comment down below. Let me know who uh, St. George's School's rival is. I believe, I believe, I just saw it the other day and that like kind of like sparked my interest to do this school. Um, it's not coming to me. Guys, comment down below. Let me know who the rival is. Man, the campus is just like, and the buildings on the campus. Like, I can just tell you this, like, I can only imagine that it must be really fun to go there. You're right on the beach. You get to hit the waves. The campus is like amazing. It's well-funded. 70% of the kids that go there are from full paying families. I always think you should think about that before applying because that's pretty high. The last one we did, Concord Academy, I think it was like 70 or 80% of the kids were full paying families. That's a lot of dough for sure. I mean, that's a lot of dough. Um, man, dude score, St. George's, great reputation, nice campus, amazing buildings, architecture. Um, I still feel like I kind of wanted to see like maybe a little bit more in that video, maybe like about their sports teams or I don't know. I mean, they did pretty good though. I mean, I, I probably could have done without seeing like a physics lab. I mean, you know, whatever. Look really nice. But that SAT score has me kind of thrown a little bit. Average 1250 and you're rejecting 75% of the kids that go there. Man. Is this like a rich kid slacker school? Is that what this is? It may be. It may be. I don't know. But that low SAT score is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Anyway, okay. That boarding school dude, St. George's School, Newport, Rhode Island, 9.1. I don't really feel confident giving it a score in the eights with that campus, where it is, and the built 9.1, all fucking day anyway guys quick one had to get one out to you you guys i listen i get your emails you know do middle sex do uh this place do that i, I know guys i know but there's so many in line that we're going to get to we're going to get to so anyway thanks so much stay tuned oh and if you haven't done so already please like the video comment down below subscribe to the channel it's super important and it really helps out thanks so much